Hello again, Year 5. Um, this is your second lesson of curriculum for this week. Uh, it's all about night and day. It's the second part of it. Now, last time we looked at, obviously, you listened to me about how night and day happens. You filled out your crowd folder, hopefully. I'm looking forward to seeing them. Uh, you watched a couple of videos, really, to find out bits and bobs about why they're so important, why it happens, and so on. Um, Again, I can't encourage you enough to go out and find some more stuff out and really expand your knowledge on this because I know I know there's some brilliant scientists in Year 5 and I think you'd be mad not to improve your science knowledge as much as possible and really, uh, really, really try hard to expand it and make yourself even more knowledgeable. So, I want you to think about this. I want you to think about this question. I'm not sure why it's gone out of there, but it says... How can shadows tell us about night and day? I want you to think about when shadows, when you see shadows. Do you ever see shadows when it's really dark? Is there any points when it's light that you don't see them? Um, we're going to be doing a scientific investigation. And this is quite a good one because you're at home and you've got a lot of time to focus on it. And it's really good to maybe even include any brothers or sisters in on it as well, which I think you'll really enjoy. Um, I want you to think about why we're looking at shadows and what might investigation tell us. Uh, you can have a quick chat with the person that you're doing this with now. Um, try and find out what shadows tell us by doing a quick Google search. Again, like I say, really, really try to improve and expand your scientific knowledge today um, and during these two lessons because I think there's a lot that you can find out for yourself as well. Um, it's going to involve some paper. Uh, you could be making something today, uh, which I'm sure you'll have seen the instructions that come with today's stuff and thinking, I wonder what they're for, uh, what a sundial is. But we're going to get onto that and we've got a list of questions that we need to answer. So, these are your questions. Do you think shadows stay the same at all times of the day? What might happen to a shadow if the earth is moving? If the earth wasn't moving and it is always the same time of day, would the shadow change? What could we do to track changing shadows? What could you use to create a shadow? What would you need to do, uh, do to track a changing shadow? What would we need to do to keep the same? What do we need to keep the same throughout the investigation? I'm sure in year four you will have looked at scientific investiga investigations and what changes, what stays the same. How would we need to record our findings? Do you have? A, do you know a type of clock that shadow use shadows use a shadow? Sorry to measure time which is what we're going to be looking at today. Do you do you think shadow stays the same at all times of the day? So, think about these, answer them all. Write, if, if you want to, you can write all of them down. This is what the investigation, I'm not going to answer that. The only question I'm going to, only couple of questions we're going to answer is the thing that we're going to use to track the shadows is a sundial, which is what you're going to be making today. I'll show you a picture of what one should ideally look like. I'm also going to answer the one thing that we need to keep the same throughout the investigation. If you want to pause the video here and quickly answer it and then see if you get it right, that's fine. So I'll give you a couple of seconds. Right. The thing that you need to cha uh, keep the same is the position of the sundial. The sundial needs to stay the same all the time because the sun is going to move around in it. It's got to stay the same. It's got to measure where it is. Okay. Right. I'll move on very, very quickly. This is the next one. Uh, I'll just put that into frame properly. So, today we are going to construct a sundial and record our findings. So, this here is what a sundial should look like. So, you might have seen one of these in the garden before. I'll uh, attach a picture of a big one, a proper one. Um, it was used before, like, the clocks that we see in school or at home was invented before. Um, the sun goes round. I'm not going to give you all the answers now. We, I might put a second video up the day after uh, for this so we can talk about it and you might have a few ideas. If you want to get in touch and tell me what you found with it, that's fine. I will ring you if you want to t uh, talk to me about anything or ask me a question. I would just do something like this. Uh, your instructions, I'll find them now, should look like this. Uh, you should have got a sheet like this. All the stuff that you need is on these pages. Uh, I've even done this, uh, it'll be bigger on yours, I'm not sure why it's been cut out of frame on this, but you've even got something like this to place it on, so 
you've got stuff to do. And you should see different shadows moving round it at all times, like you can see here. So it's only a faint shadow, but you can see the shadow coming behind it here, can't you? And this is a bit darker. So it's a way to measure the light that's been hit, because obviously a shadow is made by blocking light. So again, I've just shown you that. Um, you're going to predict. A predict is what you do. So you fill this out now before you make the uh, sundial and put it in a view of light outside, hopefully. Hopefully the weather's okay. I mean, at the time that I'm recording this, it's fairly dark outside. Hopefully we get a bit of sunshine so you can see the shadows really easy. Are you just going to monitor how the shadow, like the one that we see there, hang on, there, it's a bit easier to see, how that moves during the day, how it changes shape, where it moves to. Are you going to have a go at answering the questions that we hear? So if you want to pause the video there, it's fine. And obviously you've got this that you want to answer. Um, your page should look like this. Um, photograph, again, I put photograph there because in school we were hopefully going to use the iPads. If you just want to do a drawing, that's absolutely fine. If you can find a way to get a picture on it, brilliant. Uh, your prediction goes there. Tell me what's causing the shadow. Tell me what happened to it. Tell me what the experiment shows us. Again, please, please, please get in touch if you need any help or if you want to show us off your brilliant work. Okay, see you soon. Take care. Goodbye.